what's going on? It's Matt. Welcome back to the channel. I am actually sitting on the floor for you people and um, you know we're in the middle of this kind of camp at home situation is what I'm calling it and uh, my mind's been going a lot lately and I'm making plans to go camping as soon as this is all done. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show you what I use for my camping sleep setup. Uh, and the reason why I'm showing you is because I'm a big guy. I'm 6'4", 250 on a good day. Uh, and I'm a size sleeper. And, you know, I have done hammock trips before, but I'm a tent guy at heart. Uh, and, you know, if I'm not bringing a cot, if I'm not staying at a camp location, like a, a campground for, you know, two or three days, I'm not going to bring a cot with me. I'm literally going to sleep on the ground. And the system that I have created is a multi-tier system. And I wanted to show everybody because... I side sleep on this and I never have a problem when I wake up in the morning. I know a lot of people side sleep. I know there's a lot of bigger people out there. Uh, so I just kind of want to show you guys. So let's kind of go through everything. Uh, I'll break everything down um, and just we'll take it from there. All right, so this is the sleep system as a whole. I'm going to kind of strip it down layer by layer so you can see it. Uh, there's a lot of different components that go on here. I am going to put links at the bottom for all of this gear. Let's start with the bag. This is the North Face Dolomite 40. So immediately when I tell you that, you know that this is for warmer climates. They don't actually make this bag anymore. It's been replaced with the North Face Eco Trail 35. The only major difference between this bag and the other bag, the newer bag, the one that they still sell, uh, is this bag is only made with 30% of recycled materials and the new one is made 100%. Unfortunately, that makes it weigh a little bit more at 2 pounds and 12 ounces. This is just an absolute fantastic bag. Let's dive into the actual bag a little bit. Um, 40 degree bag, pretty simple, dolomite. 40. It's a rectangular bag and I am not a mummy bag kind of guy simply for the fact that I'm just not comfortable in them. Um, if I'm going backpacking, which I haven't done in a super long time, uh, I will consider bringing along a mummy bag just for kind of specs and you know weight and ounces, ounces equal pounds, all that nonsense and jazz that goes along with long distance backpacking. But some of the unique features of this particular bag is, is that it is a full zip bag. And so this is an ideal bag for summertime because of that reason. Because of that reason, it turns into almost a quilt. And so if it's too hot, you can unzip it all the way down to the foot box and throw it open. There's a really nice little cell phone pocket right here uh, to put anything you need, maybe your keys, maybe your cell phone, maybe your wallet. Um, and essentially, if it gets too hot, like I said, just flip it all the way open. Use it as a blanket. Now inside this here as well, I'm a big fan of sleeping bag liners. Camping is never a clean kind of activity. So essentially a sleeping bag liner is gonna keep this material cleaner inside. I can take this out and throw it into the washing machine. Uh, that one right there is a Teton Sports. Uh, it's about $16, so it's worth it. The next layer is the sleeping pad sheet. The sheet's pretty basic, right? It's just a sheet, but it really is the ability to kind of take your pillows and shove them down and have them stay still throughout the night with this extra kind of piece of material. Uh, and if you flip it over, it can buckle down right here. And what I do sometimes is that with the bottom layer, which is the thermo rest, I'll put the thermo rest under here and then basically buckle this down and it's not going anywhere. Now this is the core of the real system. This is the Climate Static V Lux. So this will hold a 6'4 guy. Two and a half feet wide, I can roll back and forth on this, not have any issues. Slipping on the side is the real reason why I got this. It is super thick, three inches thick, 
It holds air really, really well too. Look, if you're going camping and you blow up your air mattress or whatever it may be, if it's self-inflating or you gotta use your lungs or you use what I use for this bag, which is, I'll put a link to it, but this is a two valve system. It takes a lot of breath to blow this up. Climate makes an airbag, which basically, it's just a little thing that you attach to one of the valves and you push down on it and it pushes air and it's like 40 breaths at once, so it's a lot quicker. But what I was going with it, with the whole inflation issue was that if you blow it up right when you get to camp and it cools down at night, air compresses. So honestly, you're gonna have to put a little more air in before you lay down, but you can make this as thin, I mean as thin or as uh, flexible or as hard as you want it to. I like mine pretty firm. I think it's best if you're sleeping on your side to really have it as firm as possible. And your final layer on the bottom is a classic Thermarest uh, Z-Lite Ridge Rest. The bottom layer, look, these things have been around for years. The Thermarests. Uh, are something that when I was a Boy Scout, uh, I was using, and it's something that's always been a staple in my household. They're still great. There's hyper light. They've got good R values. They've gotten a little expensive though, to be honest with you. These things run you about $44. The sleeping pad, the climate sleeping pad, is around $80 for the Lux version. And you know, the sleeping bag is like $119. This is a relatively inexpensive setup. That's why I like it. Um, but you know, these pads for some reason have gotten to be like $44 to like $50. I don't know why. All it is is foam. That's all it is. So that is my camping sleep setup from when I'm sleeping on the ground in a tent at a car camping or a very, very short pack-in trip. This is not for a backpacking trip. I would never recommend anybody to do this. The total weight is over six pounds with everything, and that's not including the pillow. Uh, it's just not practical to do, but if you're going in for a quick pack-in of like two miles and the camp is you know, relatively short, it's not a steep incline, or you just wanna carry that weight, I highly recommend that you look into all of this stuff. Um, everything can be found in links down below. Some of them are Amazon, some of them are REI. Just do wanna reiterate again too, they do not make the Dolomite 40 anymore. If you're looking for this exact bag, uh, it is now called the North Face Eco Trail 35. Uh, it's just the only difference is it weighs a little bit more than this one by a few ounces and instead of being just 30% made of recycled materials like this one is, the other one is made of 100% recycled materials. I hope this helps. I hope you sleep well and I hope we all get to go camping for real soon. Thanks for watching these things. Have a great night.